All right, hey y'all, so I am bald head for this Mom Monday. <laughs> about to just do a little something just do my hair and then do a little bit of makeup i've had the week off from being a mom um isaac kinda isaiah has been in dallas with my parents for since sunday no saturday last saturday he absolutely loves 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 being with his nana and his papa i think he likes being with them more than he likes being with his own parents but whatevs. Darren and I have been acting like we are 21 again, sort of, kind of. We're still like super tired though, so not quite 21 again, but we have been out and about spending a lot of time together. Of course, lately, uninterrupted time, which is something that we really needed, so it's been really nice. We've been going to happy hours and staying up till 12 just madness lots of craziness going on around here so yeah let me get started with putting this wig on it's gonna be a super chill video but I have a really good topic I want to talk about because it's been it's been on my heart to talk about this what am I looking for all right guys so the hair I'm gonna be wearing today is this beauty right here this is from I show beauty hair this is their this their 24 inch loose deep I do have a dedicated review on this wig so I will put that down in the description box or I'll put it maybe up here in the cards um, so that you guys can click on it and take a peek at it but, all right y'all so this wig is hundred and thirty percent density I do like it um, and I actually this is a like freshly washed I've washed it and then I um, hung it up to um, dry so let me go ahead and pop this secure this on my head I'm just gonna use some free spray oh there's my clip some free spray um, and I think that's it I think that's all I'm gonna use today so yeah so what I wanted to talk to you guys about and I wanted your opinion me and my big forehead one of your opinion was the whole Meghan Markle thing her interview about pretty much how she's doing just being a new mom and all that great stuff all I saw was just the clip um, from when she was pretty much just saying that no one's asked her if she was okay you know and um, and I felt that like I felt that I did not when I saw that I was like girl and you can just kind of for me I could just tell in her her whole demeanor even though it's just a little clip you know how you can get a sense of things I could just tell that she was not okay she was probably struggling and she just looked really sad you know and I was just I felt bad for her I felt sad for her just as a mom as a woman just period all right so we got this little situation under control. First of all, I don't know if people understand this, but from someone who suffered from postpartum depression, it doesn't care how much money you have. It doesn't care what your status is. It doesn't care if you're rich, you're poor, you're white, you're black, you're Hispanic. It does not care. And for a woman to say that and be so insensitive to me just burned me up. Okay, let me figure out what I want to do. Do we want to do a middle part? I love this hair washed. It is just so much freaking better. <sighs> I have really not been liking side parts on me lately. I've really only been liking middle parts for some reason. So I'm going to stick with the middle part today. Sometimes when people make snarky kind of comments like that, it's a sign of jealousy. It is. And there's nothing nobody can say that will make me change my mind um, about that. I just want you guys to just understand that postpartum depression can make you depression period and if you've suffered from it if you gone through it like really really hard I'm not just talking about a day or two I'm talking about months and years and 
all that good stuff then you know it's nothing to play with your mental health is nothing to play with and it gets real serious and there's a time and place to be sensitive about things just because megan is you know she has her status and this that or whatever she's still a mom she's still a woman and she still has hormones that are trying to still trying to get sorted out she's in the public eye like yes i understand that she knew what she signed up for so so we shouldn't feel bad for her she she, she already knew this was gonna happen blah 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 however no one no woman is going to know how their body reacts to pregnancy i sure as heck did not think that i would have been going through what i went through um after having isaiah i don't wish that on anyone it was the hardest thing i have ever went through in my life the most loneliest thing i've ever went through through in my entire life and i feel for every woman out there who is going through it has been through it um and just moms that's why i'm so passionate about being a mom and telling it like it is and telling the truth that was megan telling the truth and not being so formal about her response and this that, and the other maybe it was a cry out for help as well which is something we have to think about and maybe that's the only way that she felt comfortable um asking for help i know for myself i didn't want to ask for help I try to make it known in other ways, but I really should have just said something and that was my biggest mistake. So yeah, so I want to know you guys' thoughts on that. Well, she's got money. She's got everything she's ever needed. She's got the help. Um, she's probably not even taking care of her baby, blah, blah, blah. Like all that kind of stuff. I get it. I get why people say it, but I also know it doesn't matter. Like. It doesn't matter if you have all that kind of stuff. Oh, look at y'all. You see? You put on a little wig. Do a little something with your hair. And you ain't got to do that much with your makeup. I don't think I'm going to do that much today. I always say I'm not going to. And then I end up with a freaking full face. I'm just here to say that money does not buy happiness. Nothing buys happiness. When you're it just not in that state, when you're just not yourself, there's really nothing but God who can pull you through. And if you don't have that relationship with him, then you got you got to find it. You, you got to go find it somewhere. Because I know I did not. And when I was going through what I was going through, he was all I had. And that really changed my relationship um, with him. And like, we so good now. He's so good. <laughs> Moving right along, I am... I'm gonna be super super late I'm about to show you guys how super late I have been but I am just now trying this Milani um, foundation it's the two-in-one concealer this came out like y'all like two years ago or something like that I got the shade in nutmeg and I'm nervous anyways you guys so Isaiah has been in Dallas right and my baby is so scared because of the tornado that just happened. When you guys see this, it'll be last week. But man, that little that little baby, he he made me feel so bad because he was terrified. Um, it was just him and my mom at the moment. I think my daddy was out and about, um, about to watch the game or whatever game was coming on that day. He made it home. My dad made it home safely. But I mean, I, I wasn't I wasn't scared for him. I knew Isaiah was in the best hands. You know, I'm just kind of like, he might have been better off with my parents versus being with me. You know what I mean? That's how highly I think of my parents. But and my parents weren't far away from um, from the tornado or anything like that. So it just happened so fast. Like my mom called me, Isaiah's crying they didn't have any light it just it was just a bad bad situation i felt bad because i just was not there to comfort him and yeah i didn't like that feeling at all but he's good now i think he's been really good up there and you best believe i sure did buy him a new remote control car I sure did because mommy couldn't be there so you got a new remote control car i had to buy his love <laughs> not even that i just i just felt so bad for him and 
I just wanted to do something for him to make him smile. So I got him that um, and I sent it to their house. But let me know if you are from Dallas, um, if you were affected or anything like that. And even if you've been in a tornado, fun fact about me, you guys, wait, before I get to my fun fact, I am freaking in love with this foundation. Wow, what the heck where have i been hiding under a rock next i'm gonna go in with the milani um the matching uh what do you call this thing concealer so i got mine in color 150 natural sand oh, okay. fun fact i am obsessed with tornadoes I love them. I think they are the coolest thing ever. And I kind of want to be in one. Like, I was kind of nervous to say that out loud because I know y'all are going to think that I'm crazy. And my husband thinks that I'm just nuts as well. But I'm just obsessed with them. And I think, okay, I'm obsessed with them not when they're causing destruction. I just want to see them out in the field and just like look at one and just, and then I want it to go away. Like that kind of thing crazy right anyways we all have our things some of y'all crazy out there too y'all i'm gonna let my baby go wherever he wants to go whenever he wants to go because you know what this break was so needed so so needed for me um i had just went to dallas like three weeks ago or something like that and it was just me and Isaiah and I went for a week. I actually have a video on that. It's gonna be old by the time I edit it, but I'm still editing and put it out. Anyways, um, but it really was not a vacation for me because I went with him and you guys know, I mean, whenever you go on vacation, whenever you're looking to go on vacation, if you're going with your kids nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be a 100% vacation because you still have the responsibility of them. Not saying that you don't want it. Don't try to call me a bad parent, but it wasn't a vacation. I was at my parents' house and it was me and Isaiah and yeah. I'm just gonna do some, what do you call this? Bronzer. On the outside, I love bronzer, you guys. It literally changes your face. It makes everything kind of come together. So as far as my eyes go, I'm gonna keep this very simple too, you guys. I'm actually going to take the Coco Naughty with this fluffy brush and that's all the eyeshadow I'm doing. So next, guys, I'm gonna take this NYX um, pencil, this eye pencil, the faux blacks in burnt burnt sienna and i'm going to line my light line my lines what the heck i'm going to line my eyes with this i'm not going to do a wing today i'm just going to get as close to my lash line as possible okay so um i just went on ahead and popped these lashes on and then put a little of eyeshadow underneath my eye and then um put a little liner on as well and some mascara so nothing special so next i'm going to finish up my hair i'm just going to i don't want to do too much to it honestly because i like the wave pattern of it like right now but it needs a little bit of definition so i think i'm just gonna do a few wand curls maybe just in the front I'm not gonna hold it very long either. And that curled really, really fast. So as soon as I wrapped it up, I just let it go. going to take my wax stick and 
I'm gonna go in between the hair at the top to flatten it out because I didn't use any typically I would just use my setting lotion before I put the wig on but did not do so today so this is another trick that I kind of learned um, by accident I was just doing it and I realized that you only want to do this when you have to because it can really weigh the hair down but it it works so after I do that brush it down and then I'm going to take my hot comb and go over it with my hot comb and this hair is hundred and fifty percent density I believe it's hundred fifty percent density I would love to see this hair in like 180 or even 200 percent um, I think this hair would be so pretty a little bit fuller this is the only type of oil that i have up here but it's a lot of body illuminate me shine mist i'm just gonna spray some in my hand i'm not gonna spray it directly on there and just kind of rub, run it through the wig or the hair like that i don't want it way down too much so i just threw some in my hand rub it and then start kind of at the bottom and work my way up. I think I'm gonna pop this Huda Beauty um, matte lipstick in interview. Just gonna see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks better than gloss. I don't know. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. Very easy look. I love this hair. And yeah, makeup is very simple as well. Um, because that's pretty much what I always do. I try and keep things very simple. I kind of still like to look myself, but in enhanced a bit. Everything about this hair and about this whole look, I will put everything down in the description box. So all the products used, all the specifics of this wig from iShow Beauty. And I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on what we discussed earlier. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, please let me know. Um, and of course, I will answer you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that's it i will talk to you guys in my next video bye